what we're seeing are all these kind of disparate types of malware. You know, we're seeing ransomware, we're seeing cryptocurrency miners, we're seeing uh, nation state backdoors that use zero days to exploit Max. But there's this kind of commonality with most of them, and that is that they persist. And what I mean by persistence is the mechanism by which the malware will install itself so that when the system is rebooted, it gets automatically relaunched. So what we can do is we can focus on that persistence event as a mechanism to uncover malware, maybe generically. Um, it's really like a, a good uh, subset of items on your system. Uh, it's a good place to start because you know there will be legitimate items that persist. For example, Zoom persists a auto updater component. But if you look at all the persistent items on your machine, there's probably like 20 of them. There's probably not a ton. And if there is any malware on your system, it's likely going to be in that list as well. So instead of like just randomly digging around looking for it, it's a really good place to look. It's a very small haystack to look for a very big needle. Starting with Mac OS 13, I believe, uh, Apple decided, hey, we should kind of um, organize this. So what they did is they created this new subsystem called the Background Task Management Subsystem, or BTM. And what BTM does is simply organize persistence items. Currently, it's focused on login items and launch items. Launch items include launch agents and launch daemons. And if you look at the vast majority of Mac malware that persists, almost all of it, 90% plus, I would say, anecdotally persists using one of those three techniques. So again, login items or launch agents and daemons. The problem is this is totally undocumented. What the background task management sub subsystem does is basically takes metadata about each persistent item. So Zoom's launch daemon, any malware that's on your system that's persistently installed, and then does something called serialization, which basically creates an object in memory and then writes that out. The problem is if you look at the database, you basically have these serialized objects, which are essentially useless in their serialized form. Like you can't just run a SQL query and say like, give me a name of all the items. They're basically encoded, they're serialized. So what I did, I reverse engineered uh, how the various components of the background task management subsystem interacted with that database because they can obviously read and deserialize uh, those items. And I found what I could do was access the database directly, load its serialized contents into memory, and then I could actually take the background task management daemon, load it into my process space, kind of like a library, which actually works, and then call into the background task management daemon's methods to basically say, hey, please deserialize the objects for me. And this works really well. Um, this is kind of like, in a way, how we would do it normally. I've just kind of added the step of me asking for it. And the end result is I get a, a nice deserialized object about every item that is stored in this BTM database. So being able to parse the contents of BTM, the background task management database, is really a critical step in detecting any persistent malware. And again, you want to focus on persistent persistence when uh, detecting malware.